child i really gotta stop showing up looking like this because this is just <sighs> depressing i mean the before and afters are amazing but this like i can't just keep coming on camera looking like this with y'all like, i gotta do better i gotta do better i don't know what i'm gonna learn i'm gonna learn one of these days i'm gonna get it together i'm getting it together i'm trying it's just so much to do in a day like how many people out there trying to mind their business drink their water exercise eat right and it's just like, by the time you do all of that, you'd be like, dang, like, I just, I just can't. I just can't no more. Anyway. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video with me, Bernie. If you are new, stick around, subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, see, I can't even from my own intro. No, that's not the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> dang, yeah, we do it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video with me, Bree. If you are new, stick around, subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, I just wanna thank you. You hold it down, you a real one. You just keep coming back for the videos and it's much appreciated. So in today's video, we are going to be getting into one of my, I guess you could call them holy grails because I mean like, this thing is amazing. I love it. I've been using it for uh, over a year now and it just keeps coming through every time. Like there has never been a flop with this product. And I guess it's not a product, it's more so a natural thing. It's aloe vera. These wonderful gooey plant right here. It's good to hear. So um, aloe vera has a lot of good benefits. Um, but for your hair, I like to use it because it's a great moisturizer. I personally use it um, in the process of detangling my hair. I did it once and I'll insert the clip because I was just marveled by the fact that it actually worked. This was like a while ago. I don't even know why I recorded this. Like maybe it was my inner self coming out like, Brianna, you know you wanna do this. Like, so just record it and just see what happens. And it just never went anywhere. Okay, so I don't know when I'll ever put this video up. But I decided I'm gonna do this aloe vera thing. I tried it once and it was kind of like, it was just, I just had too much going on so I didn't get a chance to do it right. But y'all see my puff, right? It's dry. So I just sectioned off my hair. Even for no water in it, I just kind of went through and parted it dry. So people say that's not healthy, but whatever. Y'all, I'm shook. Look at that. That, like it literally, Took it from this to this. And I ain't even run the comb through that junk yet. Like, I usually get my tangle teaser and look, like, um, what? What? Okay. I see this treatment. Like, I'm shook. I'm just shook, so. Whatever, I just had to put that on video. So, this is like the second time. Yeah, this is the second time I've done this. I got my aloe vera leaves. Well, the little thing, the pieces cut up. And I'm shook again. I just, look at this. This juicy twist. You see my puff? It is dry. Yes, and it definitely needs some loving. I don't think it's, a, I don't know if it's as dry as it was last time, but still, it's dry. Um, the aloe vera did come in clutch though. I feel like that my hair has like, you know, retained more moisture because of it. I think I'm gonna just have to just do this every time. Like it's just, we buy aloe leaves. Like that's just gonna have to be the new thing because this right here, from this to this, I just, and, and I ain't put nothing else in there but the dang own. Um, like, y'all just gonna have to watch me do it because it's just like, what the heck? Like, I ain't put no tangle teaser in my hair, which defines the curls. Like, no, the curls is popping because the moisture is there. The moisturization, which ain't even a word. <laughs> but still, it's there. It's there. Um, yeah, it had me shooketh because my hair went from what y'all see now on the camera to what you will see later. When my curls started coming through, they was popping. It was like, how you doing, girl? Thank you for the moisture. It was like instant. 
you know? So, oh, my eye was itchy. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna be doing that process for you guys today and showing you how um, how I do it and then also just showing you all the results from it. I'll probably do like one or two and then just kind of time lapse the whole thing because at the end of the day, who wants to sit here and watch me do this like in real time? I know I don't even wanna watch myself do it. Um, let's get into this process. Um, so the things that you'll need, aloe vera plant, I didn't really show the prep because I feel like it's pretty simple. Be careful, the sides are sharp. You cut, you just cut your stuff into pieces, how many ever long you want them, and then you shave the sides off, slice it down the middle, boom. Um, some people are big on like soaking the plant before because um, I saw this once on a YouTuber soaked hers because she got some stuff out of it. I've never had a bad reaction to it. Um, my hair seems to really like it, so I don't really do that. But if you do the research and you find that that's better, do you boo um a water bottle but i barely ever use it but sometimes if i feel like i need a little bit more slip than what the aloe is giving me even though it gives me plenty of slip i'll just spray a little bit of water on there and then my little detangling comb here i got my detangling brush as well but sometimes i don't even need to use this like i'm i'm trying to tell y'all this aloe it come through so <sighs> y'all y'all man i know the last time we talked we had a pretty intense conversation we was talking about all the stuff that's going on in the world so it's still going on but i kind of already voiced my opinions and my thoughts about all that so yeah you already know how i feel where i stand um mm, this is this is sad <sighs> You know, you ever just look at your hair and be like really depressed at the fact that you sat up here and let it get like that? But then be looking at yourself like, well, how you even gonna be putting it, like feeling these feelings and in this rut when you did it? But at the same time, you still like, mm -hmm. am I the only one who does this? I can't be the only one. This is a lot of work. Maybe. Maybe I'm just really dropping the ball out here. I know it's probably some naturals that be like, I wash my hair every five to seven days because I know that that's the only way it's gonna work. I don't know what you be drinking, but if you ever got some to spare, send it to me and I'll start trying to do that. I need to get on to once a week. Cause it's just bad. Mm. I think got some water in my hair that kind of gives me like, the ability to section my hair better without breakage. It's gonna be all types of stuff just falling. But usually just start with the back of my hair. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up. Need some help. Need some help. Need some help. Yeah, it, my hair really needs this. I can feel it. I can just feel the the thirst and the desperation. He said, oh snap. What's this? Oh my gosh. We gonna put some aloe on there. See this? Just rub it on in there. Well, I should be ashamed of myself. I should. This is ridiculous, Brianna. Like, this is ridiculous. Ooh. <sighs> Let's put this up. Shout out to Justin for buying these extra stretchy, extra thick. Um, what are these? Hair ties? Thank you. Yes. Little scrunchy things. Here we are. I got them in like this bowl because I cut up a whole bunch of them. I usually go through a lot and maybe it's just me, but I've seen some people, they be using like two or three pieces for their head. And I'm like, how, sis? How? Because my hair, you like, <laughs> that's all you got? Oh, okay. We're going to see how this go. I'm going to 
to soak up these ends. So I always just cut up more than enough and whatever is left over, I try to either save it and use it on my daughter's hair or um, save it. I usually don't have any left over though because I, well, I usually get like two leaves and oh, look at that, it's starting to separate before it was a hot mess express. Um, I usually get about two leaves. I cut up the first one and it usually only takes me about maybe, depending on how small I make them, if I make them bigger chunks, then um, I need a, I need a towel. I'll be right back y'all. And I will get picked back up on the video. Got my towel, cause the hair be getting so, and I just like to be able to wipe it off. I don't like, it just bothers me. I know it's my hair, I, I know, but it, it bothers me still. Not in a disgusting way, but just in a way where it's like, can I, can you not do that? Like, can the hair just fall? Like, please? And it, it doesn't, so. So now that the aloe kind of has some time to sit, it's definitely giving my hair the moisture that it needs in order to help me detangle it. Um, I don't know if y'all can like see the difference, but I mean, I can actually start running my fingers through this. And it's just a miracle worker. I'm pretty sure y'all seen this before, but for y'all who haven't, if you stab it with your fingernails, it'll create some more of that wonderful glue that you want to put on your hair. So I just wanted to give you guys the quick rundown on aloe vera, its amazing benefits and uses. Um, if you saw my Tyler wash day video, then you know how much I mess with aloe vera and how amazing it is and how I was hyping it up in that video. And I'm about to hype it up in this one too because it's just that deal. But if you haven't seen that video, girl, what are you doing? Catch up. Go ahead and watch that video after you watch this one. So let me give you the rundown. Aloe vera can be used as a conditioner, a detangler, and even a hair treatment. It is full of amino acids, minerals, and vitamins. It is great at giving your hair the moisture that it needs. It promotes hair elasticity. It can even balance the hair's pH. It's great at declogging the hair follicle, and it can reduce dandruff. It promotes hair growth by stimulating the scalp and it has vitamin b12 in it too like all of these things is just packed with the nutrients that your hair needs so hop up on it like if i had to choose between aloe vera and a hair product i'm buying aloe vera because i know that it's gonna give my hair what it needs and it's gonna come through every time Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Can y'all like? Do y'all see this? Y'all see that? Look at that. Just didn't want to act right at first. And look at it. it. Got some act right over here. Hair all slick back, moisturized, popping. Curls want to come through. Like how you doing? Looking like they just got freshly nourished. Like just like hey boo, we back. We back. We back. Boo. Anyway, so once I finger detangle it and I can still like catch some stuff coming out, I'll just take my comb. This is wide enough for my comfort, but get a comb that's wide enough for your comfort. If you need something bigger or if you're a fingers only person, go ahead, do what you do. But I just run this through it so that I can make sure that any excess shedding that i'm missing i can just grab it so as some of you may know an essential part of my detangling process is twisting up my hair after it's been detangled this just keeps the hair from retangling back into itself and then having to redo all the hard work i put in so i wanted to show you all this process one more time before i speed it up and we make it through the rest of my head so as you can see my hair is dry um i have a struggle putting my fingers all the way through it and it just needs moisture and help thankfully aloe vera comes through with the moisture that i need and to the rescue to save my hair from its disastrous distress of dehydration Ooh. 
that actually sounded really nice. <laughs> I promise y'all, that just came off the top of my head. Anyway, I want to note that while I'm working in the aloe vera, this is a process that requires patience. Detangling period requires patience and just use this as a time to learn your hair and to love on your hair. Jam out to some music if you need to, to get you feeling good and in the mood to work with your hair and just work out all those tangles because when you do, you're going to prevent any unnecessary breakage as you take your time and actually work through the hair strands. Your hair will love you for it and you'll be thankful that you did in the long run. Okay, so this is the end result of me detangling my hair with the aloe vera. Um, I might let it sit for maybe about 10 minutes or so, not too long because I'm trying to move along the process of washing my hair because uh, my scalp is itching. Like, I don't understand why I be doing this to myself. Like, I gotta wait this long, like really breathe, I gotta step it up. Um, I do got a little bit of juice left in here, so I might just like pour that on my hair and kind of like drench it. I did do the back more so, which I'm about to do again in the front so that I can kind of just have it sitting in my hair. But yeah, it, um, it was a nice, easy process. Um, no different than when I detangle my hair any other time. I just like using the aloe because it, sometimes it can be a bit easier than using like a conditioner. Um, and I just like seeing the results and how instantly my hair just gets the moisture that it needs and it's my curls are just revived. If you guys haven't done it before, hopefully you'll be encouraged to just try it. Um, it's a cheap, easy, um, do it yourself type of thing. If Black Girl Magic was to be illustrated, it would have to be aloe vera just dripping from your hands. Actually, that's in the song. Shout out to Charity. She had done it herself. Black Girl Magic. It literally would be that. Aloe vera. Because it has so many good benefits. It has um, amazing healing properties. It is a natural humectant. So it's going to help your hair to draw in all this moisture. Like, I mean, y'all see it. Like, look at this. Y'all saw how my hair was just so dry and lifeless. And that's my heart. Yes, it is. However, aloe vera came in to save the day. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up, um, like, comment. If you have tried it before, let me know. If you haven't and you want to, drop it in the comment section as well. Um, and I guess I'll catch y'all in another video. Peace.